And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we gather on this Veterans Day to pay tribute to military veterans of the United States Armed Forces, it is our honor to welcome a distinguished member of the UND Hockey alumni family, as well as two other very special guests to the ice with us this evening. Following the program's second national championship in 1963, the University of North Dakota hockey program recruited a North Dakota kid from Devil's Lake as a scholarship player who would later become a decorated Vietnam War veteran and a true American hero as a recipient of both a Purple Heart and Silver Star for bravery in Vietnam. At the age of 23 and fresh out of UND as a member of the UND class of 1967, an Army soldier by the name of Ross Johnson oversaw a gun crew in an artillery unit in the highlands of Vietnam in June of 1969. Fighting intensified in this location overnight as the North Vietnamese Army started to overrun Johnson's unit. Johnson and his comrades found themselves in a three-hour fight for their lives. At one point, Johnson found himself in a bunker with six North Vietnamese soldiers in direct hand-to-hand -hand combat as well as another combatant found in the grass outside the bunker. Johnson was the only individual to emerge from that bunker that night. At the conclusion of the battle, eight of Johnson's comrades lay dead, and all members of the unit were wounded in action. Johnson is credited with saving an immeasurable number of lives by individually recapturing the bunker that evening, including the life of fellow Army soldier, Mr. Brad Gort. Gort was severely wounded in the battle and spent five and a half months in the hospital. Johnson's actions allowed Gort to be flown from the scene of the battle on a medevac helicopter. Brad Gort joins Johnson on the ice with us here tonight as survivors of this extremely bloody battle more than 50 years ago. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Please join us in recognizing three remarkable veterans. An Army veteran and distinguished member of the UD Hockey alumni family, Sergeant E-5 Ross Johnson. An Army veteran who credits Johnson with saving his life that night in Vietnam, Sergeant E-5 Brad Gort. An Air Force veteran and current president of the University of North Dakota, Brigadier General Retired, Dr. Andy Armacos. And now we would probably ask Dr. Armacos to make a special presentation to Ross Johnson on behalf of the University of North Dakota and the North Dakota Hockey Program. Ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate Veterans Day, we will now ask you to reflect on the life of another remarkable veteran and a lifelong UND supporter. On Tuesday, October 18, North Dakota and the University of North Dakota lost a leader and champion when Earl Strinden passed away peacefully at the age of 90. Strinden was a proud Marine veteran, a UND alumnus, a Grand Forks City Council member, member of the North Dakota Legislature for 22 years, as well as the leader of the UND Alumni Association for 31 years, and the founder and CEO of the UND Foundation. Earl's love for North Dakota and UND was legendary. Please join me now in a moment of silence for one of the most influential and impactful men in the history of our great state and university, as well as a proud Marine veteran. Thank you. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please remain standing for the presentation of the colors proudly by the University of North Dakota Army ROTC Honor Guard. Please remain standing until the colors are retired.